We're now moving into a new section in our AutoCAD Professional Certification course. We're going to look now at modifying existing AutoCAD objects. You may recognize this drawing from previous videos in this particular course, and we're going to use this drawing all the way through this section. So you'll notice I've got the drawing open five modifying objects complete. You can see that there on the tab just towards the top of the screen there under the ribbon. And if you want to follow along with this video, there will be just a start off drawing called modifyingobjects.dwg. You'll find that in your lynda.com exercise files. Now, the first thing we're going to be looking at is creating selection sets. Now, the quickest way to select anything in an AutoCAD drawing is just hover over it. You'll see the highlight and click on it. So you can see there that that is a rectangular polyline by the blue grips and the blue highlight that appears. If I press escape a couple of times, that deselects it. Now, something with AutoCAD, if I select one object and then select subsequent objects, can you see it's a cumulative selection set? So I can go and select as many objects as I want to, and it adds them automatically. Now, if I want to remove something from a selection set, all I do is I hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then go and click on the object and it removes it from the selection set. You'll notice there's a little plus and minus on your crosshair in AutoCAD 2016 as well. So if I hold down shift again and click on another one of the red rectangles there on the plate, you can see that I'm removing those from the selection set. Now, if I want to lose that selection set, again, I hit escape a couple of times. And the reason I hit escape twice is once to cancel any command, and the second time is to cancel the selection set itself, just to make sure that you deselect everything in case you move on to a different command. Now, there are other ways of selecting objects in AutoCAD as well. But before we do that, I just want you to right click, go to the options on the shortcut menu, and it'll bring up the options dialog box. And if you go to the Selection tab, you'll notice there's all these different settings for selection. Things like the size of your pick box on your crosshair, the grip size when you select an object. Do you want to show grips within AutoCAD blocks? What grip colors do you want to use? Lots and lots of different settings that you can change. Now, I don't change any of these settings at all in AutoCAD. That's my personal preference. However, if you do want to change them, you can. Now, you'll notice there's one here, noun verb selection. Now, a noun is an object, a verb is a doing word, as my son would say. If I untick that now and click on OK, watch what happens. If I now do something like a line, if I click there and then I go and click on erase, I have to go and select the line again, like that. Now, the reason that happens, I'll just hit escape to cancel that command, is the reason that happens in the options is when you're selecting objects, what will happen is you select the noun, the object first, and then the command. That is by default, so always leave that ticked. Now, the other one is this one, use shift to add to selection. So if I OK that now, and I select my polyline here like I did before, and then click on a rectangle, it deselects the polyline and goes to the rectangle. Why does it do that? Because I've now told AutoCAD that I have to hold down shift to add objects to the selection set like so. Now, if I hold down shift again and click on something I've already selected, it still removes it. But if I want to add something, I've actually physically got to go and hold down shift. Otherwise, it selects something completely different. Now, again, if I right click and go to options again, now you'll notice I've got something selected there. So the contextual shortcut menu has kicked in with all the commands. I have to hit escape once and then twice to deselect and then right click to get the default shortcut menu. So I'm just going to switch that use shift to add to selection off and click on OK again. So we're now back to the default settings. Now the other selections we can make have already been covered in selecting objects in some of the previous videos for this course. But I just want to go through them very briefly with you once again. If I click up here, top left, and drag all the way across and put all the objects in that crossing window and click again, it will select everything. That's because it's a window selection and everything was enclosed by the window. If I go from right to left and click and drag, I get a different window, you'll notice, and it's everything that is crossed by the window, but also everything that is within the window. Can you see that? So those are your window and crossing selections. 
Make sure you get used to those and make sure that with your selection sets, you know how your selections work and make sure that you're using the default selection settings in AutoCAD before you take any of your AutoCAD certified professional exams. Always check those selection settings. Somebody might have changed them before you take your exam. So just make sure that all the settings are set to the defaults. So noun verb selection should be on and the use shift to add to selection should be off by default in AutoCAD.